Zdravstvut, to Tovarishi, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another glorious day lies ahead of our glorious nation as we continue to make progress towards a glorious future. I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction, there is a lot to get done today. I just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel and it directly impacts what I do and what I don't do. With that said, and like I said, no time to waste. Let's get this party started, shall we? Right off the bat, I noticed we have a bit of an issue over here. I just saw that as we were kind of zooming by. Um, I was going to kick this session off by saying, you know, I'm not going to get too bogged down by train stuff. Some of you did give me some suggestions with regards to a potential solution in the comments of the previous episode. But I thought, cool, we'll implement that down the line. Um, you know, it might not be a problem this session, but lo and behold, it's a problem right off the bat. So why don't we take a quick second over here to just take a look at our semaphores. Uh, Y'all were pointing out that uh, we no longer need these to be two ways and, and perhaps these as well. They no longer need to be uh, two way connections. Um, I, I, I feel like we've kind of built this section to rely on two ways, but this section over here, we can probably get rid of the two-way connections because we have this uh, cross over here, this crossing over here rather, um, which is when I should hope a train figures out where it needs to be, right? There's one over here as well. Um, I think if I get rid of the two ways over here, we should be fine all the way down through to here even past here i guess down all the way to to here even here even here really this far down i mean here i know we need the two ways to make sure all this is working but i didn't realize all of this was uh, was actually two way tracks so why don't we go ahead and uh, and 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 swap some of these around um, cuz i do think that would be okay so right side well you're heading into a junction over here so you should actually be a chain there and this, if I'm not mistaken, should be a chain, yes, but only facing that way. Hopefully I've got this right. And then once you get over here, you, you, you cross over if you need to in order to find a free slot over here. But on your way back, you would cross over uh, over here to make sure you're on the right side. And by right side, I mean literally the right side, right? Uh, and then over here, I guess we should be able to do a chain again, I guess, because you're heading into a junction. Well, no, this is actually not a junction that is uh, that is a wooden track over there like a non-electrical track over there go ahead and do this for you even though we have like this connection over here isn't this technically a junction this stuff really starts to get messy doesn't it flip that around flip this around like this again i do believe this is a junction but this rarely gets used so we should be fine like that i might be mistaken again this is touching on one of the few things that I find especially, um, <laughs> let's call it confusing. Uh, I'm not going to touch any of this. I feel like adjusting the stuff over here should automatically have a, uh, what's it called? Like a, like a chain reaction, let's call it, uh, that, oh my god chain reaction i promise you that was not intentional um it'll have a, a chain reaction that should fix everything up over here and if it doesn't we'll come back and and reinvestigate the 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 latter section over here by uprising grad as well uh, on the topic of chain reactions though i do think i should maybe a bit of a, a darker segue there just wanted to take a quick look over here no workers right now really how long has that been the case well of course that's been the case for some time now i imagine because these train troubles are Oh, they're being problematic as well. Okay. Um, I'll flip you around. Have you have you do the loop again? So this is this is starting to become serious trouble. Adding that one extra train has really uh, thrown things out of alignment, eh? Okay, fair enough. So then maybe I should. Uh, I guess I should do that. And that, well, no, should it be a chain in? No, it's, it needs to be a chain out, right? If I do that, I wonder if that'll help solve the issue over here. For a little while, at least, we're going to need to do a mixed signal over here because these trains need to come through. So we'll, we'll let that happen. We'll clean this up really quickly, and then we'll move on to the countless other things that are actually uh, top of mind for today's session. I have a lot of stuff planned, a lot of new mods that have been added to the uh, the mod list as well and all that, so there's a lot to get done. Let's go ahead and hit, well, just one sec over here. 
taking a look at unemployment, 4,000. Well, of course we're up to 4,000. All this mess is, is throwing all of our numbers, again, out of alignment, right? Like we're seeing that skyrocket again because of uh, these issues. Hopefully, again, we'll, we'll, we're, we're still going, going to focus on solving this problem next. But like I hinted at, at the end of the previous session, I've got a couple of plans for this, as well as other issues that are starting to crop up now as well. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and unpause. You'll flip around. You should be able to come through. Once you come up there, this guy will be able to come through as well. It's all a matter of what order they do things in. But we should be good over here. And and before we get too caught up over there, let's also check down at Petrograd. You should be able to flip. Let's go. St. Portia. Yeah, he should be fine. I right, quote cool. back up over here. Are we looking? Yeah, you're coming through. Okay, so let's just pause real quick. Because he's made it through, we can now go ahead and change this guy to that. And that will hopefully fix the problem over here. Maybe. He's going to come through first. He's waiting. Because basically the only viable place to enter now is like the specific station where you need to go so the side of the track they're on should be sorted out over here and then hopefully down the line we're not going to see any trouble um down the line literally down the line where uh, where they've been kind of mixing up what side they're on if we do see trouble down the line then we'll just have to sort the uh the signals out down there as well so they're not allowing trains to enter into the station on either platform every every direction should have one platform exclusively and we can do that if we need to we can do that if we need to now just as a reminder of course people are now actually living uh in this space as well not small nets but down over here at uh so we need to make some adjustments actually to a couple of things for one um as some of these train troubles seem to be solved we do need to actually get where well we need to find one of these trains over here real quick uh where are you buddy and scoop you up um View line details at Partiat? No, at. Uh... Oh, interesting. Okay, so hold on. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. So after the waypoint, I need you to come to Gubrusk. Yeah, and then I need you to load up on. I forgot that we hadn't actually made this a stop. Uh, but I want you to load up on not workers, but students with a basic education because we're taking them to university pick up any tourists that happen to be here any passengers as well that's fine and then when you get to krasna you're going to unload those same students passengers and tourists right yes and then you'll come back you're going to load up on workers and also unload any workers that we've picked up okay sure and then you're going to go up to Parts yet where you drop off all the workers. Okay, yes, that 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 should all be right. Cool. Let's unpause and let's just see to make sure that this is working as intended. Because I, again, we have people living in this neighborhood now uh, at uh, Klibruisk, right? Um, I hope I'm saying that correctly. We we do need to rename it. I've got some name suggestions. If you have more, feel free to bring them on. But uh, I just want to see uh, to make sure that uh, this is actually working and and passengers are getting picked up and taken to you know wherever they might need to go. Building is without power right now. I don't know if these people can actually reach here. The only building we've completed actually might be out of reach of the train station, which would be hilarious. Yeah, of course. Of course that's the case. All right, fair enough, fair enough. He didn't actually stop there, eh? Um, can we maybe... Hold on, let's try something here. Um, go ahead and pay for... Sure, all this. Did I seriously not get the... Okay. Go ahead and do that. Cool. Um, how about now? Still no. What about the footpath connection over to here, let's say? Should have should have done this first. What if we do that? Still no. Unsurprising. Okay, fair enough. I mean, that's why we put the bus stop down and everything, right? All right, fair enough, fair enough. Let's go ahead and cancel this because it looks hideous. And I also wouldn't want a crossing on this, uh, like, right at the end of this bridge either. It feels a little strange to me. All right, okay. Not a big deal, not a big deal. We'll, we will figure this out um, 
like some of the some of these intricacies we'll figure out as we go forward. I'm really hoping that some of these buildings get done soon as well. But they do need a lot of boards, and we will be tackling that among other things. Really quickly over here, are you going to stop at this station? Yes, you are. And then you're gonna keep going, right? No problem over here, you're gonna keep going. Yes, okay, excellent. Uh so first order of business then I would say is power. Let's get power down over here. Uh since we soon We'll get engineers and workers up over here with the trains now fixed. We should be able to draw power from here. Uh, what I'm thinking is, and again, based on your responses to my queries a couple of episodes ago now, we can absolutely, yes, use our uh, high voltage wires to bring the uh, power across the water and then establish a transformer and underground wiring and stuff to actually bring it down to the uh, city centers and things like that. So why don't we go ahead and figure out where we'd want to establish this converter. First of all, we will need our, not our switch, but our transformer. Uh, maybe somewhere down over here, right by the uh, right by the bridge actually makes sense. Maybe a bit further in. And we will be auto building this, yes, but uh, just for planning purposes, I'm going to hop down like this. I feel like this is not going to be, there's not going to be much happening over here. So this feels like a good spot for like utility stuff, you know? Um... For now, just power, but then down the line when they introduce the, the water treatment plants and things like that, this feels like a good spot for all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, well, that's an interesting visual. Fair enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop you down over here. Sure. Get that road connection as well, why not? Go ahead and get our high voltage wiring across the water. All the way up to what here? All the way up to there. Okay, let's let's just see the grid over here real quick. It's like uh, a little to the right of this one. Okay. Trying to keep it as straight as possible. Trying. I know the camera's a little off uh, off kilter here. We'll get as close as we can. That's fair. Sure. And I, I do think we'll want an uninter we'll want sorry an uninterrupted connection, um, because like I don't think I want to split one of these up and then connect it to here and then also have that power distributed elsewhere. I think we need as much power as possible uh, coming down this way. If anything, if I do introduce a split um, to this high voltage wire over here, it would just be so that I can have another transformer down over here. You know, in case the throughput on this isn't uh, as high as I think it is. You know what, actually, this is 14. Do we not go higher than that? We do. We go up to 18, eh? Okay, well, can I upgrade you? No, I cannot. Cancel wire. Still getting used to all the cancellation button placement and things like that. Come on. You want to cancel an important wire by mistake? Okay, so what, what I want is the 18 megawatt option. Might be overkill, but... I'd rather err on the side of caution, right? So let's pull you all the way up to here. Roughly hereabouts. Go ahead and get you coming out. Actually, this works a lot more nicely. Down to here. So let's go ahead and cancel that and that. Pop you out to here and straight down to there. Uh, not the cleanest. Close. Like that and like that. Yeah, sure. That's better. Cool. So that should bring power down over here. And then we go underground. Medium voltage wires. Where should we connect them, though? We need a substation. Maybe over here. A substation over here is nicer than a parking lot over here, right? Um, though it's a little close to that. We could put it a bit more centrally located, maybe. Or we could do something like this. Hmm, what about next to the station a bit closer so we know it's not blocking the uh, the tracks or anything right right over there what do you what do you not get so you get this entire block basically except for the southernmost buildings let's call them okay if i get a little bit lower we're not going to get those southern southern buildings so let's pop you down over here and that's just one right this is just one come on Pop you down there. We can get another one somewhere down over here. Like hereabouts. 
be like a, a terminal for this uh, road, basically. All right. And then where else? We'd want some on this side as well, right? Trying to figure out exactly where I'd want to put them. The one down over here. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. Wondering if I want a road to come down this way. Won't be for until later, maybe. Or I might connect to this bridge, right? So up over here. Okay, sure. So let's go ahead and pop you down over here. Yeah, let's do that. And so what we should be able to do then is... That should give us coverage across the board, right? We should have everything up over here, including the, uh, the, like the community area, right? A lot of this housing is done. Down over here, we've got all of these emergency services, and then we double up on some of the housing over here, and then we include these guys. And then down over here, we triple up on some of the housing over here. I don't think that'll be necessary. We get all these guys, and we'll also get some of the housing and stuff that we build down over here. Okay, great. And we're probably eventually going to add another one, like somewhere up over here or something, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, I think this is good enough. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a uh, switch. Do I think we need a switch over here? Because we're going to draw one down. And then we could... We, if we draw one straight down, we get a switch. Hooks up to that, keeps going, hooks up to that. We get another switch over here. Yeah, sure, sure. That, that, this all makes sense to me, I think. Where are we? Just a little past... This is the one thing that throws me off, is how the grid is like, it's distance space, which I like, but like when it does this at the same zoom level, it gets a little confusing. All right, so like roughly hereabouts. It doesn't have to be perfect, but close. Okay, there you go. And then down over here again, roughly around here. There you go. Road connections for any fires, I guess. It's not the biggest deal, but uh, I can't remember the last time I had a fire uh, on, on one of these, right? But where are we? 4R. Underground. Wires. Go from here to here. Yep, that looks good. Hook you up like so. Keep you going down like so. Come on. Uh, what are we looking at here? What's causing us trouble? These roads? Might be the roads, I think. There you go. I just kind of... I, I tapped Q to bring the wires down a little bit. Can't see from up on high, but you can see the dip from the side over here. That did the trick there. Okay, and let's go ahead and hook you up like so. Again, it's not perfect, but it's it's close enough. And you, you can barely tell I, either. Like, the parallax from the uh, camera makes such a difference. Alright, can I pull you down a little bit? loop you around. Can I get a better curve over here? I guess I can't, eh? Oh, I don't need to do much. Okay, that works. Hook you up like that. Great, wonderful. And that hopefully brings enough power for all this stuff. Cool. Uh, now where is the button I can press that auto-builds it all without me having to highlight it individually? See, we used to have a beautiful button that I could just click and it would work, and I don't know if that button exists anymore. Uh, maybe if I just do this. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right, I guess this. Fun construction from Rubles. And that'll... That'll do it all. These guys as well. Yes, okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Just have to... Just have to check. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys done as well. Pay for you. Pay for you. And pay for you. Where's our... This guy. Pay for you. Let's go. Right, we got to pay for these guys as well, right? You done. Get. You done. And get. You done. Kind of rush these guys, actually, truth be told, but that's fine. We should have power now. Yes, we do. <laughs> Getting power from three different uh, sources, but that's all good. That means that that our uh, that means that our uh, power plant's working as well, right? Yeah. Got workers coming up over here. How's unemployment looking? Real quick. Oh, I, I love this loop. This loop's making me very. This loop makes me very happy. Sorry. 
Except for when a bus does something silly like that. What are you doing? Looping back twice. Uh, where are we? Unemployment is looking decent again. I mean, again, we, we've seen this kind of a fluctuation before, but I would really like this to really drop <laughs> a little bit more than this. All right, back to dealing with our population troubles over here. Hopefully, boards are coming through, but they're not coming through quickly enough. We know this already, right? We are not making boards quickly enough. Now, some of y'all suggested that we establish um, woodcutting facilities in this general area around the uh, the uh, the interchange, the 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 clover leaf. Which um, the the idea behind that suggestion, if my understanding is correct, is that it's so. Uh, like it makes the entire nation easily accessible because you can easily just hop onto the highway and uh and, and you know deliver the uh the the boards or the wood wherever it's needed see my one thing about that is that what i quite like about our like green space around the highway is well i like that it's green space around the highway so i kind of want to maintain that truth be told now what i'm actually thinking is uh our issue isn't so much about uh, access to the material, but it's about um, the, uh, the the quantity of the material, if that makes sense. It's not so much that it's difficult to get the material where it needs to go. Uh, the issue is that we don't have enough of the material in the first place, right? Because we get boards over here that get pretty quickly picked up and dropped off at this open storage over here, and they pretty quickly get picked up either by a construction office or by a delivery vehicle to bring it down to uh, this spot over here. And then from here, you know, a construction office picks it up. So we got a couple of spots from where construction um, offices can pick boards up. Uh, so as long as we supplement any one of those with more boards, I think we'll be okay. I, I don't think it's a terrible idea to actually do that over here. Uh, we could get some... I really wish the sun was up right now. This kind of planning is a lot easier when the sun's up. We could get some wood cutting going on, you know, around, around this area. Again, we do have to provide workers, right? Let's not forget. Uh, Brixtonia could perhaps provide workers for some wood cutting as well. Uh, quite a few trees up over here, actually. We could we could open up a wood cutting operation around the uh, fields, perhaps. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, where are you getting your workers from? I'm pretty sure the guys get dropped off directly at the uh, the fire station there. Um, what about there's this bus stop over here where we direct people where to go. I feel like if we establish a wood cutting facility over here, right, we could have quite a few trees to chop down. They'd have to get delivered all the way up to here. Okay, that maybe is not the best idea. What about over here? This isn't a bad idea, I don't think. Do a little bit of wood cutting over here, cross the tracks, plant a lot of trees up over here, convert it into boards, they get delivered down to here. What we might need to do is get another like shuttle bus or something or a micro bus like we have right now, bringing, you know, just a handful of workers from Brixtonia uh, over to. Uh, the, uh, the 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 wood cutting post and the sawmill. Do you seriously leave without having dropped everybody off? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and and work on this then, shall we? Let's get ourselves. What what am I thinking here? I'm thinking along this route. Now, where? What is your radius? And can I see it? Not until it's actually been uh, cut down. You can kind of see what the radius is, right? You can kind of see it because of the difference in, in tree color. I could put another one up over here, actually. Okay, let's try that first. Uh, let's try that first. Let's go ahead and over to our... Uh, what am I looking for? Construction industry, perhaps? Wood. Wood cutting post. Oh, there we go. As we can see, the uh, colors like this. These trees must be choppable, otherwise we wouldn't still have an operational uh, woodcutting industry. It would just be impossible. All right, so we put you down, like what, like somewhere over here, maybe? Right, you chop these trees down. Don't chop anything down in the middle of the uh, highway. You do this kind of a thing. Uh, let's do... Let's see. Oh, right. I can flip. I forgot that you can flip now. It's such a good feature. All right. If I go ahead and pop you down over here, let's say. Right. Because we're going to add trees up here and up there. Let's pop you down over here. Okay. And let's go ahead and get the uh, sawmill as well. Uh, how's, how are we attached over here? 
Okay, I see. Sawmill down like this, perhaps? Or can we do this kind of a thing? Yeah, I think that works. You know what? Actually, I, it's not going to attach, right? Pretty sure there's a huge height difference. Yeah, there is. Where are we? Terrain. Come on. Go ahead and flatten down to here. And then we can put that guy down, and that'll supplement things a little bit. We might need another one, which I'll put down by the uh, like the bridges and stuff where I was pointing it, you know, pointing out earlier next to the airport. Feel like that'll be a good spot. All right, I think that's good enough. Go ahead over to construction, over to sawmill. Need flat terrain, yes, I'm aware. Come on, come on. So close. The lower train is a little bit faster, and then hopefully we can just use the uh, building footprint to do the rest, right? Sawmill. Oh, come on. There we go. Beauty. Go ahead and flatten you. We're, we're, we're just going to pay for these. We're not going to uh, have our, like, construction offices make them. <laughs> the irony of that is too, uh, too strong. Too rich for me. Uh, pull you over. Let's go. Hook you up like that. Let's go. And let's hook you up like so. There we go. Good stuff. Um, what am I thinking here? Let's go ahead and establish some trees. Get some pine down. All right, pining for pine over here. I'm pining for any kind of wood, really. <laughs> we just we need some wood. We need some boards, ASAP. All right, that should be good. Lots to chop down. Add some for here as well because why not? We're over here already. Now let's go ahead and add some over here as well, because why not? We're here already, right? And we're going to be establishing another uh, wood-cutting post and stuff over here, so might as well get all this stuff established. Let it grow while we figure out our other stuff. All right, so that's that done. Let's go ahead and sort these guys out. Go ahead and pay for you. Go ahead and pay for you, and go ahead and pay for you as well. We're going to need some more trucks and things like that. Um... I believe we have some old KMZs, yeah, lying around over here. We'll get these guys involved, I think. Let's just dump all the prefabs, maybe. Or, you know what, go ahead and drop off at uh, Zavodsk. And then we'll, at the, at the road cargo station. Oh, we're actually topped up over here. Yikes. <sighs> Fine, you know, let's just dump the, the prefab panels. Dump the prefab panels, yes. What do I want you to do? I want you to... Get rid oh, right, I can't do that first. I gotta get you to grab boards over here and unload those boards at the same road cargo station. Cool. Keep that going. Let's go ahead and copy your schedule over to this guy as well. Start you and dump your prefab panels too, which is kind of funny because we're going to need those prefab panels for everything else we're going to get up to in just a moment. Meanwhile, for you, let's go ahead and purchase some mechanisms here. I would like to get some of these loggers. I do believe they're the best. Oh, actually, maybe... Maybe we should get some of these uh, Armin 12215s. Seem to be a bit faster. Oh, then there's these guys as well. A lot newer. It looks like these guys chop as well as... So I can't tell, actually. These guys definitely have choppers on them. Um, see, because the, the loggers, they say Feltry Capacity. Versus... No, these guys all say... Can load view. How can I tell if something is a logger versus not? I mean, some of these obviously. One only one thing here literally says it's a logger. This one looks like it is one, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's go ahead and scoop one of these up. And and see if that works. And if it does, then we'll get a couple more of those, right? Uh, we do need workers over here, though. So where is that micro bus that comes up to here? Um, where is the micro bus that comes up to here? 
this guy. Just the one vehicle, eh? Wonder if we don't drop some workers off over here. Who brings the workers over to here? Is it a separate microbus? No, so that's for the sawmill. Yeah, I guess it's a separate one. All right, fair enough. Why don't we go ahead and, uh, before you get too far, add this as a spot as well. But I got to make sure the order is right. Hold on, let's delete that stop from here. Let's add the wood cutting post. There we go. Let's make sure you're going there next. Unload only workers. And I forgot the old line still have tours. I, it's such a weird, uh, cause when tourism got added, those guys were just included into every, every, uh, stop. Okay. So that should work. Cool. That's wood cutting and the sawmill. Let's go ahead and get you here. Dropping people off at this sawmill. Unloading workers. There you go. Yeah, that should do the trick. I mean, what a, what a safe spot for this intersection too, right at the uh, end of this tunnel. Perfect spot for it, the perfect spot for it. Trust me, nothing nothing bad could happen. All right, let's go ahead and resume, especially as like the rain's falling over here. Let's see what that does for us. Primarily, I'm curious about this logger, right? Uh, guys, I don't know if that's the one I was looking at. Who is, you're going to the wood cutting post. Okay, cool. Let's see how this works out. These guys are already getting to work over here, even though there's nothing to get to work about. All right, let's see. What do we get over here? Are you actually going to drop everybody off? I, I guess you might, right? But once the once the uh, rhythm gets going, which is to say, like, once we have, you know, some workers staying while new workers get added, we might see, like, a proper, uh, like, we might see this bus leave here with more than just two workers, you know what I mean? Now, what's the deal here? Operating without issues. Are you, though? Let's check something. Oh, yeah, looks like we are. Okay, fantastic. In that case, let's go ahead and purchase. Let's not waste any time here. Let's go ahead and purchase two more of these. Some of these are able to carry a bit more, but I don't think they are loggers. They don't look like it, you know? Let's go with this. Good stuff. Good stuff. Do you actually have different colors? Could I get you in red? Or like a beautiful gold? No, I can't. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. That's okay. I'm fine with that. But this is good. This is good. Hopefully we'll see some uh, good progress over here quickly. Hopefully not at the expense of progress over here, because that would obviously not be ideal. But if unemployment is a problem at Brixtonia, which I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Uh, let's check real quick. Uh, jobs, job unemployed yesterday. Yeah, we do have a little bit of unemployment, so we could get a bus come through, pick workers up at maybe this bus stop, and... Uh, what about from over here? Where can you can you reach this bus stop? You can. Maybe I should clear all this so some people actually go to that bus stop and get scooped up. But that would be the only thing I can imagine um, us needing is a, is, a, is another bus maybe to supplement this. Now I wonder if I want to put another wood cutting post down actually up over here. After all, let's see if I were to go to construction industry wood cutting post. Those guys aren't full grown yet, so they're not showing up in this, of, of course. But I put you down like somewhere like over here, nice and kind of centralized. Actually, you know, oh no, these guys aren't highlighting because it's within this radius, right? Somewhere like over this, yeah. Wonder if we do a bit more on this side. It's a wasted radius, but it's like I kind of want trees along this, I guess. Nah, this is fine. Where are we? Would pop you down over here. Get our sawmill as well over here. Perfect. The road. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Surely we can make this work. Surely we can make this work. Okay, I'm sure we can. There we go, beautiful. 
hook you up like that. Okay, excellent. I will want to upgrade these roads as well to at least gravel, I would say. Not just those roads, but these roads as well, at least to gravel. Just so the vehicles are moving a bit quicker. Right? I don't mind them looking a little let. I don't want them to have, like, you know, streetlights and stuff on them, sure, but, uh, but the gravel, I think, at the very least. Alright, this is all good. You probably don't have any wood collected yet. This It takes some time to get going, you know? Takes some time to get going. But we're getting there. Oh, look at that. Look at the crane carrying the wood and stuff over here. Well, oh, it's neat that they actually have these uh, little animations. We'll see them again when, when the sun's up. Uh, but what do we got going on over here? Let's go ahead and pay for you. Pay for you. Um, and pay for you as well. Getting workers over here is going to be a bit of a struggle. Get three of these. Good stuff. And then what I'm thinking actually is these trucks, maybe they don't just go to... Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll need more uh, more trucks. Just because like these trucks come through and they're fully loaded. These guys aren't because right now that second sawmill doesn't have anything in it, but once the, once the process starts, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll see a slowdown, I guess, or, or no, sorry, we'll, we'll see them be packed. Okay, this is good. See, so like now, we only have to drop off like, what, 10 people, so the remaining 24 are being carried over to the next spot. That's good. That's exactly what I was hoping for, uh, but over here, we have four people. I, I'm wondering if I can add that next spot to this uh, bus line as well, or if not. Well, you're carrying 12 people. Hmm. This is a little different. This is actually, we might need, uh, might need to reconsider this. So nobody got off, which is interesting. One person got off. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I mean, this is sitting here doing nothing in the meanwhile, so why don't we go ahead and purchase, first of all, you. Let's go ahead and dump all that. Yep, that's fine. I want you to start over here. We'll start with just the one. Load boards. Then I want you to come down to here, and I want you to unload boards. Cool. Let's get you started, because otherwise I know I'll forget. Things are still flowing, so there's that, right? We're not, like, stuck. Um, but what else do I need? I need workers up over here. Right. I really do hope these trees... I mean, I suspect they grow and they get chopped down, because if they didn't, we, would, we wouldn't have any more trees being chopped down at, like, Zavodskin stuff, right? Must be the case. Must be the case. I don't know why I'm overthinking it now. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get another one of those micro buses. I don't know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, well, I thought we were going to modernize all of our stuff. Well, uh, we're modernizing most of our stuff. I think some things don't need to be modernized. It's like a... It's a again, Brixtonia is... Uh, is a dinky little, you know, it's a village. It's a small, rural-ish community. They don't need the most modern of everything. Um, like, as a good example, Toronto recently upgraded... I say recently, this is like five years ago now. We recently upgraded our... Um, our... Uh, we need one or two. I think we need two. Uh, we recently upgraded our um, streetcars, our, our trams, if you will. And uh, the old ones, we sold mostly to, like, San Francisco and stuff. Yeah, you know, it just makes sense, because just just how it works. You, you know, there's, there's still use for, for older things. You don't need to completely, um, you don't need to overinvest. And plus, uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it looks nice. I think it, uh, it, it creates that homey feel for, uh, for Brixtonia. I load people up over there. Drop them off over here. Yeah, you're good. Meanwhile, that's for our woodcutting post. Meanwhile, for our sawmill, get you going all the way to here. Very crowded bus stop, actually. Load up on workers. Drop them off over here. Cool, get you started as well. All right, neat. That'll hopefully help with our board problem. However, uh, it's a longer-term solution. Like, we're not going to see an overnight um, end to the trouble over here. I don't... Well, as much as I'd like to like to think it's not going to happen. Uh, so, there was the alternative solution that I'd mentioned at the end of the previous episode, which is that we move ahead with some of the next steps uh, sooner rather than later. And those next steps include building the uh, waterfront housing and things like that, right? So, 
there's a couple things that are going to happen over here. So first of all, let's go ahead and get this road looking right. Um, okay. A couple things that are going to happen over here. So, first of all, this road's going to come out like so. Right to about there, I think, is reasonable. Get you coming through as well. Hooked up, lined up. Yeah, excellent. Then you're going to rotate and come down... This way, at the very least of this distance, right? You're going to come around as well. Can we... Yeah, there we go. Can we actually get a little bit further here? I'm trying to, like, hug the, the, the coast over here, but not have it look unreasonable. The double road really eats up a lot of space, doesn't it? Tighten that up. There we go. Keep pulling you down. Like so. Come on. Yeah, sure, like so. Keep pulling you down like so as well. Alright, cool. Now, I mean, this is planning more than we need right now, but trying to stay ahead of it, basically. These guys. Now, okay, this bridge is a little unfortunate. Of course, we start from such a height, we go down to such a low point. That's naturally going to happen. I'm just wondering if there's a better way. I wonder if... Okay, you know what? Here, here's what we could do. We could do this. We could... Hypothetically, try this. Concrete bridge. Pull you over. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that would have been unfortunate. Do not auto build. So pull you over. Hang on a second. Right, I gotta do this. Tracks. Down like that. And like that. Just again, just for now, right? Because these guys will push through and, and get hooked up to the side over here, so that's roughly right, I would say. Uh, right enough for us to plan around. So, yeah. Pull you over to here. Hang on. Need a better view. Pull you over to here, about. Yup. And, yup. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and actually drop down. like, right away. Trying to figure out where we can we can do this. Like, up to here, maybe. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's not excellent, but it's better than what we had before, I think, at least, right? Because then we get this, like, drop-down happen a lot quicker, and then over here, where it's a bit more... feels a bit more normal, you know? I don't know. It's a, it's a hard thing because it, it still feels, it still has some roller coaster vibes, I guess. But it looks a bit better, I think. Y'all, let me know what you think. But this way, we can go ahead and pull on over to here, get you all the way over to here, and you can see how that looks much more reasonable. You know, oh, well, these guys are not uh, being reasonable. Actually, what's going on over here? Over to you. There we go. Yeah, like that looks, you know, I buy that. This is this is realistic. And then over here, right, the idea, I guess, is that we continue going over. Uh, on the one hand, we continue going over. On the other hand, we would build, like, a, a way to get off. Right, like, we could, uh, I'll do this kind of a thing, actually. Get you on there. Hmm. I, I guess I guess that would work. If this is supposed to be a highway uh, continuation, though, then a little strange. We're gonna actually keep that going. Probably is is more likely, right? All the way across. Don't know how high we want it to be because over here again, we're gonna have a bit of a drop, right? We're gonna have like this roller coaster ride continue to like down this way. Now, I've seen some really tall bridges. It's not its not unrealistic or anything. It's just like I want to make sure that we look as reasonable as possible. All right, so this guy then would continue on like this, I assume. Right, like over to here. Let's do for now. And you over to here. Oh, come on. Holy but surely. There we go. Does that work? 
yeah, I'd say that works. Cool, perfect. So with that done, we would then get this concrete bridge to continue over. Uh, could we do, let's see. I wonder if we could do like this kind of a thing. That kind of a thing? Oh man, I don't know, that's too high. I think I need to bring it down lower sooner. I think it needs to be like, uh... Like, uh... Gotta find that sweet middle ground, you know? Turn off that snapping. Killing me right now. But let's do, maybe... Oh, I just had it. Oh, there we go. Like that kind of a thing. So at least it's like at a bit more of a reasonable height by the time it comes down over here. And then it would it would cross up over here, right? I like this like curve. It makes it feel a bit more believable, I think. Bring it up to there. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this curve just makes it a bit more believable than if it were to go like straight across. But again, I I, I will defer to you guys if you feel like it looks a little strange or, or awkward or just not right. And we hook you up over to here. We should be able to turn snapping back on. No, it doesn't like the angle. Come on now. Come on now. You worked just moments ago. All right. Always fun. Get this thing. Do that. Fair enough up to there and I get you up to here cool a little bit of finagling needed slightly off of each other's alignments but that's not the end of the world I don't think but yeah I think that kind of sort of works right I think that kind of sort of works we maybe want like an intersection somewhere up over here or something if somebody wants to get on the highway and and, and make their way over but I think this um makes sense it, it's mainly an outline, really. It's just a, a bit of a skeleton, you could say. To let us know what we can and can't build. Alright, so with that done, let's go ahead and start actually planning some of this new housing over here. Because that's what we want to do over here, is, is, is establish more housing that uses different construction material. Again, concrete, um, prefabs, things like that. I have, to that effect, some other modern structures that we want to use as well. I've got this gen tower over here. Concrete, gravel, asphalt, and steel. I mean, this is for education. I would like to have this down over here, though, because I think it's really cool. Um, visually and, like, just conceptually, I think it's a it's a neat-looking thing to have. I wonder if I want to, like, connect those roads down here or something as well. But where do I want to put this guy? Really cool high-rise. Um... Pop you down over here, pop you down to a more central location. This will be tough. This will be tough. So I did get some more um, office buildings as well. If we go over to the, again, cheeky mods, really cheeky mods. If we go over to the city hall, you'll see we have quite a few office building options. But these guys, basically, they do the same job as a city hall does, but they provide employment, right? So that's, that's kind of all you really need. Uh, 250 number of workers, 250, 275 for these guys, and 150 for these guys. So quite a few job opportunities across these buildings, and they do look quite interesting. I feel like we could use uh, quite a few of them. Th this one actually could use, could be used up over here as well. Got the right look for it, I would say. Uh, this guy can be used down over here or up there. This guy's quite nice as well, quite bulky. They're not, this one's the only one I would say that looks like a high rise, as I would maybe expect it to. Um, that's something to consider. I we need the sun a little bit to, to plan this space out. This is going to be challenging, though, because we do want to have a couple of high-rises. We want to make sure that we are providing sustainable, like, sources of food, clothes, electronics, all that kind of stuff, of course, right? But this is going to be challenging. This is going to be challenging. While, while it's nighttime, let's go ahead and take a quick, 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 quick peek. Words are failing me right now at some of our other industries. How are these guys doing? Plenty of boards over here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Looks like this guy's over here scooping it all up. Yep, 16 tons. Yeah, this is where I kind of wonder, like, maybe I should have uh, bought new vehicles. 
to help with the throughput. What's up over here? Only a handful of workers. Oh, building is without power supply? I would imagine we need power supply to, to operate some of the machinery over here. Fair enough. Where is our closest source of power? I wonder if we need another like splitter over here or something. Not exactly what I had in mind as far as a focal point is concerned. Got you over there. What about you? Where are you getting your power from? Also from over there, eh? Okay, fair enough. It's like, I don't necessarily want to pull power from the, uh... From the... Um... Nuclear power plant for one, you know, woodcutting post. That'd be kind of funny. Got you down over here. Where are you getting your power from? Down over here. From here. Okay. Well, why don't we get another... Switch over here, then. Right? That would make sense, I think. Got ourselves a switch. Go ahead and pause for a second here as I demolish. Yep, this guy. Get our medium voltage switch. Like so. Come on, beauty. Go all the way up to like hereabouts. Go ahead and spot. Here. Actually, hang on. That's not what I want. I would rather have it on this side. Like that. Cool. Get these wires set up over here. 2.35. Yep. Hook you up. There we go. Hook you up. And hook you up. Beauty. Go ahead and pay for it all. Pay for you as well. And pay for you. Let's go. Now, I don't think we need power for the uh, woodcutting post itself, but we definitely need power for the uh, sawmill. Hopefully we'll see workers coming through. I think the woodcutting post just needed more workers. You need a, There's a minimum number of workers you need. I think it's 10 workers per vehicle, because you can see how we have 13. Oh, actually, you know what? Okay, I guess I was mistaken. Fair enough. Ooh, but... But... Can we see them picking up the wood... I thought I saw an interesting animation with the crane and stuff, but may maybe I was mistaken? Huh. I could have sworn I saw an interesting animation where they were like picking stuff up with the, uh, the crane. Let's check up over here. Lots more wood to be gathered over here. You know what, maybe I was mistaken. Yeah, it looks like they're just scooping it up without actually interacting with it. That's my bad. That's my bad. It's a huge drop in frame rate just because a little bit of dust being kicked up. Alright, this is this is what progress looks like. Going back to cutting down trees. Alright, good stuff. Well, at least this is all operational it's all working we've got quite a bit of actually quite quite a few boards here just not moving along being brought through though okay cool 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 i think we'll be fine i think i think once once we get this rhythm going we'll be fine if not then we'll upgrade the trucks of course but for now i think we're uh, we're looking okay all right cool the sun is back up though so what, what are we doing over here we're gonna go ahead and get some housing going modded residences are for residential what am i looking at here these 40 story buildings yeah that's looking good actually 740 workers 36 story 800 workers yeah let's get some variety in here though right get some variety in here especially compared to like uprising bad and stuff i want it to look a little different we have some pretty cool uh, options now again like i say always any mods you see are available in the mod list in our Discord, linked in the description down below, in the Workers and Resources um, channel. So if you see stuff you like and you're not sure how to get them, that's uh, that's one way to get them. 314 workers, that's not bad. How, how tall is this? 200, 20, 21, 200 stories, 21 stories, sorry. 21 stories, 200 stories, can you imagine? Alright, we could do, we could do quite a few of these actually. 
line up like this, or... Like, do I want to do the same thing that we're doing up over here, where we get a road to push in, right, so we don't get the... the center all clogged up? I don't know how viable that would be, or how much space it would eat up. But let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What if I do... What if I do... Not auto building yet. 21 stories. And how many workers was that again? Sorry. 21 stories. 314 workers. Okay. So. Let's see. 314. Right. Then. 628. Six hundred twenty-eight plus another eight hundred. Fourteen hundred roughly. It's not bad. Can I fit this here though? Can't believe the infrastructure up over there. Seems a little funny to me. What about you? You're a bit smaller. You actually don't have any roads. Road connections, I mean. Hmm. It's a little strange. Footpaths down this way, as long as we can get a footpath up, I guess we'll be fine. And this is what, 740 workers, so it's what, just a uh, 60 fewer? And I think it looks a bit nicer. For the space at least. Let's go ahead and pop you down. Let's pop you down over here. Come on, there we go. Maybe over here a bit more. Wanna make sure that uh, we can get a footpath in there, right? Pop you down over there like so. Get the footpath through like so, because then they can get on the road and then get back onto the, uh, well, into the back over here. So this is, again, this is 740 plus, where are we, 21, 300, this is 628, so let's say 600, 600 plus 700, right, 1300 roughly, give or take, 1300 in all this space. Kinda feels like not enough, right? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But it's thirteen hundred. Let's uh Oh, I don't like how that's not gonna line up perfectly. I could try and put some more up over here. Right, we could do the so thirteen hundred, that's now it would be a shame to have a to not be the taller building back over there. You'd have no view. So 1300 plus another 740. This takes us to... Let's say 700, so 2000, right? Pop you over like that. Pop you down like so. Come on. Go into auto build mode over here if I can... There we go, just to flatten the stuff down a little bit. There we go. Alright. Neat. Uh, it's actually not neat. It's very opposite of neat. Where do you think you? There we go. Uh, where are we? Mods. Get this 40 story building a little bit further up, like so. Oh, you know what? I guess I do need to leave quite a bit of a gap, eh? All right, fair enough. As close as we can get them. Right down to there. All right. And then the road would basically come in like so. Let me get rid of this a little bit. Yeah, the road would basically come in like that. Then up over here. Let's get rid of the snapping. Odds are too steep. Can we too sharp of a turn? Can we... I know we can make this work. There we go. Get rid of that. Come on now. Alright, I deserve this. There you go. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's do it this way. I like that. Then we can go ahead and get our footpath connections. Yep. Shouldn't be a problem. Hook you up like that, hook you up like that. 
These guys will connect to the back over here as well, right? And this guy will hook up like that. Excellent. So these guys will have access to this. And over here, we'd have our, like, school and stuff, right? Uh, where are we? Um, shopping as well. We'd want, like, a shopping center. These things are massive. Right up over here, maybe. 35 tons of everything. That should be enough to sustain the, like, this block for a little while, I imagine. Like, if I go ahead and do this, again, we're not going to have... We're going to have trucks deliver stuff, I guess, right? We could do this kind of a thing. The road connects from over there, maybe. Foot path connections like this. I do love that you can flip now, but it also adds so many more decisions to, to make. Do this kind of a thing, or we could do... This kind of a thing. Can't build it to infrastructure. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. Alright. This kind of a thing, then. Pop you over like that. Pop you down over here. Something like this, right? And then we've got our school and stuff that we need as well. Uh, which I think is state infrastructure. Yeah. We've got our kindergarten, which we can fit over here. The, the problem is, like, the larger... We'll need the larger schools and stuff over here. We can actually fit one of the bigger schools here, which is nice. Not the biggest. The biggest one would have to go back over here, which we could do. We could do. We could we could pop it down over here. Uh, maybe get some more housing back over here. And get the university over here. I mean, like, I like how this is looking. I like the idea over here. It feels very much like a, yeah, downtown kind of a thing, you know? You can see the high-rises by the uh, waterfront, basically. I, I, I quite like that. I quite like the idea here. I quite like the uh, the, the the visuals of it. And, and also, it serves the function that it doesn't require boards to build. None of this requires boards to build, um, except for, I guess, the uh, store. But it doesn't need that many boards to build. So we can actually have these going simultaneously while we're waiting for boards to get uh, caught up. With that said, though, I imagine with the new influx of boards, we're going to see... Uh, some progress for these guys as well real soon. I imagine so, at least, right? We've got quite a few boards just sitting around right now, hopefully getting moved to where they need to be moved. You know what? I'm liking this. We do this. So this is... Hold on. This was... What was this? Um, oh, Goddamn. The numbers. This was like 600 plus 700, right? 1,300. Um, 600 plus 700 was 1,300. Two grand... 2.7, 2.7 times 2 is 5.4. If we mirror this over here on the right side, all right, you know, it's not uh, it's not everybody, but it's 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 up there. It's half of the population, right? You add on top of that all the construction we're doing up over here, and it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good, but uh, it's also looking like it's the uh, end of today's session, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly did. Uh, I got pretty much everything I wanted to get done, done. Uh, the only thing I was hoping to get more of done was some of the uh, construction over here, or the, the planning over here. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with how much we did get done today, actually. I feel like we've uh, we've, we've, uh, we've we've made some progress uh, across the board. What's the deal over here? Why are you stuck? Are you for real? Why do you do this to me? Because you're stuck. Why do you do this to me? Because you're stuck. How long have you been stuck? Have you been stuck for the whole session? Amazing. Now, you know what? We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out afterwards. I'm pretty pleased with today's session overall. We've got the board situation uh, solved, I would say. Uh, it's just a matter of actually delivering the boards to their, like, to where they're needed. But this is looking pretty good. And I do hope we got 60 tons up over there. Do we have any boards down over here? Because we bring them down over here from up over there. Not just quite yet. Okay, we'll see. We'll keep an eye out for it. But folks, I hope you had a good time. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. As always, it makes a massive difference in just how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Again, y'all know the drill by now, I'm sure. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And on that site, folks, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya. Yeah.